What is going on, guys? It's Danny. We're back in the YouTube video, and today we'll be playing some more of these Clormancer gameplay video, I guess. Gameplay, gameplay, whatever the hell you call it, whatever the hell you want to call it. So, we're going to be playing some more. I'm going to try to document the whole process. I'm not even going to play offline for this class. This class is pretty much going to be documenting the whole journey all the way to level 20. So, hopefully, it turns out that way, and hopefully, I can um, uh, not bust myself over and uh, play this play this class so much that I'm busting nuts all over the place so yeah <laughs> and yeah and we're just gonna go ahead and play some more Clormancer and we got some better gear I guess you could say after that um not not the best gear but we got some we got some decent gear it's a very decent gear actually so we're gonna try to lure this guy up oh, nope we can't even lure him all the way to there so that sucks let me I just want to like test out some some moves right now so that summons a plant Oh my god, okay, okay. That summons a plant. What does this do? What is that? That sounds more plants. What does that do? Oh, it, that grows the plants. Oh. oh. Oh, no, that's this summons plants. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it now, I get it now, guys. Because, like, before, I didn't I didn't really know what the hell each class did, so... Yeah, and I already finished the uh, challenge, so there's really no challenge right now, and it's in Wilds. what do you know? What do you know? It's in Fey Wilds. Who would have guessed it was in Fey Wilds? <laughs> so yeah. Um, I think in this goal we're gonna get to this class level ten, get our amazing ring that we got, S three ring. I'm definitely gonna be opening more of those, uh, those ca those little tiny singlet boxes and everything like that. Cause you know, th the first time, definitely good luck, some good luck there. Um. We had a shadow level three, which is absolutely pretty good for for me. My luck is absolutely terrible, but we got a shadow level three. So hopefully, um, today or in this episode, we can go ahead and open some more boxes there, and we can go ahead and get ourselves a shadow level four item. So yeah, hopefully it's gonna be the first box we open this time. I'm gonna do it one by one to release or to make this video a little bit more suspenseful for you guys and stuff like that. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for this rundown of this episode, I guess you could say. Um, I'm planning on doing the series as a 10 part or like a, like a at least 5 part series. Because I mean in the first episode, we, had, we got to level 7 in the first episode. I don't really know where where this, how long this series is going for like my other classes. Because the Revenant one took way too damn long. Like it shouldn't take that many episodes to get that Revenant class to level 20. And it shouldn't take that long of a time to get the uh, Revenant class level 20. So, we're going to be doing some minor, minor changes. We're going to try to grind in each episode at least 20 minutes or more for you guys. Because you guys have been requesting a lot longer videos lately. And you know what? You know, news 2016, longer videos for you guys. Um, if I do longer videos, it has to be one video a day. Because I don't think I can upload two videos a day. Spend 40 minutes or uh, do tw two 20 minute videos in a... Uh, Spend my time recording or recording. For, all right, so here, here, here's a basic rundown of it. So, if I record two videos a day, which I am doing right now, but they're relatively short videos or so much like 10, 10 to 15 minutes, and the other videos got under five minutes. So that's how I manage to upload these videos a lot. So, in 2016, what I'm planning to do is pretty much uploading one video or a uh, 20 minute video. A day, one 20 minute video, and another short video for you guys. So I don't know if, if that sounds decent. What the fuck? How the hell did I get down here? But yeah, I don't know if that sounds decent enough for you guys, um, or anything like that. So if you want uh, that type of video going down, I guess you could say. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but if you want that type of video. Please let me know in the comments down below, like, upload a 20-minute video, and then I'm going to be uploading another um, uh, another 5-minute video. So, I don't really know how that's going to work out. So, yeah, if you just want to leave it in the comments down below, which one you guys prefer the most, I would definitely appreciate it. So, yeah, we're going to go head back because I can't, I don't have any bombs to get out of that, that shithole there. And we have to level 8, so we got to use our amazing Radiant class. We already at 23,000 HP, so pretty good and you know what you know what i'm gonna go back to team solo wealth and um use my tentacle powers to uh you know do some things i have a uh, 176 tentacles 7,000 flocks so this hopefully should get me to 
800 something magic damage because that's what I really need right now. I'm going to my cannon barbarian because the thing was on cannon barbarian. Take all that out there and that weapon that you guys saw that I just took out that does not belong to me. It belongs to Oreo Milkshake. He lent it to me because he's going on vacation right now and he's a true, true subscriber. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're going to go ahead go to the enchanted oh, chaos forge there and we're going to throw this hat in and we're hopefully going to get that to magic damage. So hopefully magic damage. I will see mag Ooh, I see magic damage right there. I saw magic damage. Nope, physical damage. I want magic damage. There you go. That's how you do it. Easy enough. That was really, actually, that was really, really simple. Like, one of the more simpler things I've done in life, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're going to go ahead and switch back to Chloromancer here. We have, we're already level 20, which is absolutely insane, which means we can go to some bigger and better classes. But yeah, this is just pretty much gives you crit damage. That's all really that's all I really need on the on the hat, I guess you could say. So yeah, um we're gonna go ahead and do U3. I feel like we're gonna do some U3. I'm gonna do some U3. I, I have a... Wait, what, is that the hat? Yep, let's see the hat. Is there and is there any hats that give uh, magic damage? I wonder. Any hats that give magic damage? All I see is pretty much attack or crit damage, and that's pretty much it. But I guess you really can get um, magic damage on the hat. But that's that's all all right to me, you know. Not really expecting a whole ton from this, so yeah. And uh, we're hopefully gonna build this thing to like four thousand freaking crit. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna go for seven hundred k crit on this guy because I know. This class is not really based on RNGs or anything like that. What the hell you call Gaben uh, up the, up on the Lords up there. We're going to go ahead and use the Balefire Wings. How, see how the Balefire Wings look on this guy. Oh, they look actually really good. So uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be spending 80 something K on some neon shitty ass wings. Shitty looking wings. They're probably the worst looking wings in the game actually. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. The one you get from the Shadow Tower is probably the worst, look, uh, worst looking um, wing in the game. I, I really, really don't understand it. We're not even doing enough damage for this shit, dude. So I don't know what's going on here. Oh, it's because I don't, I don't have my sure strike emblem. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and use a sure strike emblem there, and we're gonna go ahead and just use the. Go ahead and use that, I guess, because you know, prox the prox the critical damage, I guess you could say. And yeah, I know. I think I, I think I missed that thing part over there, but yeah, Bellfire Wings pretty good on this guy. Throw a couple of them out. Boom, boom. Pop my ultimate. See if I get the crit in there. Really want to crit this guy. Come on, crit, 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 crit. I, I need to learn how to combo with this guy because I right now I don't really know how to combo. So I'm gonna keep keep pressing that there. Boom, 9,000 crit right now. Level level 8, 9,000 crit. Which is pretty good. Not that bad, not that bad. But we're going to need to get a lot more magic damage, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah, hat. I don't think hat can give you a... Uh, hat can give you um, some magic damage. So, that's the only thing. I need a better staff. That's what I need. I need a way better staff than this crap. It's a crappy ass staff. Uh, uh, nah. Let's just keep the staff right now. It gives me somewhat of a critical damage, I guess you could say. And I got three penta, two penta forges waiting for me. I got a bow that I can deconstruct into a penta forge, so that's good. And yeah, penta forges are, are super low, super low right now. So it's a good time to go ahead and get your penta forges because they're. Around 29k, got mine for 27k. It was a day they were like, they were like super damn low, like really, really low. Like it's pretty crazy how much, how much pentaforges we're going for uh, a couple of days ago, or yes, two days ago actually, yeah, two days ago. How low they were going for two days ago. Um, my friend saw them go for 15k. Whoever, whoever bought for 15k, made quite a bit of freaking money on that. So. Yeah, it's really crazy how much money people make off of uh, Pentaforges now, because they're on for super cheap, because somebody duped them, somebody found a way to duplicate a lot of Pentaforges, therefore the market is now 
pretty much I don't know how to say it like inflama inflammated I guess inflammation because a lot you know how there's like a, if you there's like a variety of stuff if the prices obviously go down because there's too much of them already and stuff like that so if you guys know what I mean drop a like <laughs> and follow me on Google Plus guys that's like that's a that's a good thing to follow me on Google Plus so it's gonna be verified and uh you know, stop the imposters from copying my videos. So yeah, well, not really copy my videos. Uh, stop impersonating me and stuff like that. So it's for it's for security reasons. If you know what, if you know if you know where the security reasons is from, please let me know in the comments down below. Because if you are, you know who Juggernauts is. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, wow, we're actually leveling up really slow now. I don't I don't understand why. I really don't understand why we're leveling up super slow. Is it cause these bosses are too high damage for me? Is that cause... Is it cause... The bosses are too high damage? I mean, I have Radiant Gear and SS, so I really don't know what they're talking about now. And, yeah, um, my attack speed is relatively good. It's like a machine gun. I didn't really expect it to become like... Yeah, after it, I think we turn this corner, there should be a pirate captain waiting for us. Boom, pirate lord. Parrot Lord. It's funny how the trove names these guys. It's pretty. It's actually really, really funny. The Pop Autumn Seas, man. And I really, I kind of, I think I kind of like the Fate Trickster more than the Chloromancer a little bit. Because Chloromancer is kind of confusing to play. I really don't know how to play him. That's the only problem about the Chloromancer. I really don't know how to play him. Plus, I need to get to level 10 to get the ring on this, on this ish right here so yeah I wanna, I'm gonna pop a co I had pop a potion there brings me to a frenzy really really wish I had the freaking emblem how much did that give me 1000 XP so we're gonna go back to control the source here we're gonna go back to U1 U3 takes too much damn time to uh, do it oh I guess we're going to U2 then ooh some Bay Wilds right there and um, there's gonna be a series that I, it's gonna be coming back. Just as a little update for you guys, or it's out of it's, it's absolutely random time to tell you guys. But there's a there's gonna be a series that's gonna come back soon in 2016. So I promise myself that I'm gonna be doing that series because a lot of you guys been asking me on Troll, oh when are you gonna do this? When are you gonna do this? Because you stopped doing it. And if you guys know what I mean, please let me know in the comments down below. Because if you do know what it means, that's how I pretty much like you know that's how. That's probably one of my most popular series on my YouTube channel. So, if you guys know what it, you know what series it is, um, please tell me in the comments down below because I'm curious if you guys know what it is. And yeah, well, we're level nine now. And that gave me how much that? Oh, I can't even tell how much that gave me. How much uh, experience that gave me? I guess you can say. So yeah, I really don't know how long these videos are going for because I'm just gonna play some trope. I think you guys like it when I play a lot of trope or like just randomly do let's play of, of tropes because you know that's pretty much all you can do in trope. Because there's really not a lot of things you can do in trope. Like no joke, there's really not a lot of things you can do in trope. But you know if it's a if it's a I'm gonna try to build a big community for trope and as well as all the other trope YouTubers out there. You guys are doing all good. So yeah, okay, we're just going to get to level 10 here and end off the video. I don't, I actually, really, I really don't care how long these videos go for, so 20 minutes to find me, even takes like 40,000 hours to render. But hopefully, next, this, or next 2016, summertime comes, be able to get myself a brand, some new parts for my computer, and hopefully that should make up rendering and getting videos out pretty is faster and hopefully we we'll do some console gameplay hopefully um i'm sending an email to elgato hopefully uh you know do some gameplay let them uh, send them let uh uh ask them to send me out a elgato capture card i guess you say so yeah i guess we're gonna have to do that we're gonna have to email them and everything like that so hopefully we're able to get some gameplay for you guys because i have a lot of call of duty Black Ops gameplay I want to show you guys, but I really can't. Or actually, I want to do some Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay, and, and hopefully that should spark my channel, and uh, we grow to 1 million subscribers, so easy peasy. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that easy, guys. 
getting subs is not that easy as it seems because it takes a lot of work and everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and check our gear. What gear is, is good right now? I just, I, I just want a good staff. Like, just give me a good staff. Really? Physical damage on a staff? Wow. Anything good? Wow, is my staff that good already or what? Like, what's the deal here? Nothing, man. What the hell, my dude? Yep, nothing. Nothing much. Nothing much. So I'm going to go ahead and throw everything in here. All of that into here. Shadow 1, don't need, really need that. Oh, nope. Nope, that would have been a bad idea. If I turn that thing into some flux and um, nothing else than that. So, really don't want to throw away my ring there, if you know what I'm saying. But it doesn't really look like we're going to hit our goal in this episode. Because this episode is going out way too far already. And we're about to hit uh, Master 150, which is absolutely crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go down here once again. Uh, I think this video is going on for about 16 minutes, I want to say. But I want to get it to at least a long video. And this is... I'm not going to upload them back-to-back, -back, obviously. The first episode, I'm not going to really upload them back-to-back. -back. going to save this one for tomorrow, obviously. And I'll try to do the one every single day of the week. Every single day. Yeah, of course, every single day of the week. You know, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just really, really high right now. I'm high on life, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, two more minutes and we'll end up the video... Hopefully we'll get to level 10 in the next episode. And then after that, um, we're going to hopefully get some Gucci stuff for you guys, okay? Alright. And throw that down over there. Boom, 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 boom. Oops, today I learned that you shouldn't try to export long videos in After Effects. I'll, I'll, I'll reply to you later, man. I'm recording a video right now, man. So yeah, um... This is going to be the end of the video here. I uh, just want to thank you guys all for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my commentary because my commentary is absolute shit. So if you guys like it, drop a like. If you guys don't like it, drop a like as well. If you guys like the video in general, drop a like as well. So, and yeah, and obviously subscribe. So as I say, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I will respond to every single comment there is. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. And there's probably going to be another Q&A video after. I'm going to probably do a Q&A video. You know what? Bucket Bay Life Q and A video coming soon. So yeah, ask me questions this episode. Peace out. There's gonna be another vid video telling you guys Q and A. And yeah, yeah. Bye. Chloromancer class. Bye. Um, yo, which is how to get a free Chloromancer class intro. Get a free Chloromancer class intro. So if you guys want to check out how to get a free Chloromancer class, it's absolutely.